Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here and we're back with another action figure review and here I have the Domino Marvel Legends figure uh, and I ordered her from Amazon. I found her at Wal if you want, uh, a Walmart somewhere but I didn't get her from there because I ordered her from Amazon and it was coming in a few days anyway so uh, but here it is from the uh, here she is in the front uh, so instead of like a blue or gray whatever you want to call it packaging from the regular X-Men you get the red and you got a bunch of marker marker sharpie marks there so you get it scribbled out I don't remember what that was supposed to be for but now we got 14 plus uh, there's an X logo, but with the uh, Deadpool logo sticker on top of it. Uh, I don't know what, who, who that's supposed to say. I think it's supposed to say, like, Thurman or something. I don't know. Uh, but it's all crossed out, and it says Marvel's Domino. Hasbro sign, you get the Marvel Legends logo there. You get the X logo there with another uh, Deadpool uh, logo sticker there. You get a silhouette of Domino there. And then you get the silhouette of Domino there too. Same deal on the other side. Here's the bottom for you in the bottom, uh, in DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here's Domino out of the packaging here. So she has a few accessories. So first she comes with this pistol, which is pretty cool. If it'll focus, there we go. So we've this is a brand new pistol, um, but Nothing real crazy besides all black. Um, and then she comes with two uh, hands, one for holding her guns and then just fists here. So those are cool. She comes with an extra head, which these come with the goggles. I wish they had them with the goggles on over her eyes instead of like on top of her head like that. So yeah. And she comes with these like little SMGs with the little knives there. Like, um, I think they're, it's kind of like a musket. Muskets were more like a, a sniper, but the muskets had like knives at the end of them like that. So that's pretty cool. I like these a lot. They even have the sight here. And that, the muzzle is a little crooked there. Um, then you get the knife there. And then black grip. So these are pretty cool. These two are the same thing. Um, and besides that, that's it. So here's Domino here. And here's our other head sculpt without the goggles and i think it doesn't look quite like her but they did a good job with the eyes you get that little spot on her eye like that and one thing that i i'm not sure if you guys can tell but the hair here it feels soft but i think it looks a little transparent like if you shine it in a light it's gonna like shine light out of it so i think that's a little weird but oh well but they did a good job with the suit uh, you get the holster here for her pistol, so you just put that in there. She has these other, like, mag holder right here and knife holder. And yeah. And then you get these nice, cool-looking shin guards. And a little bit of bronze uh, for knee pad and shin guards and boot. So that's pretty cool. You get the blue lining or side there. Uh, and then you get these sleeves. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I think they nailed Domino here. I think they did a good job. It looks, I mean, the design of her looks pretty good. I, th I think just the head sculpt is a little off. I'm not quite sure. But uh, for the pistol, you just want to pop that in there and then have her hold the other SMGs. That's what I'm going to be doing at least. Um, but let's go over articulation here. So... I think she has, yeah, has a double ball joint here because you don't see the, like, the disc underneath her neck there. So she can look down just that much. She can look up that much. Her hair kind of gets in the way so you can't get her to go up that much. She can look left and right. She, you get some head pivoting. Uh, her arms can move out that far. She can do a 360 rotation around the shoulder. Her elbows can bend that far it's single joint in the elbows <clears throat> sorry and then it can rotate uh probably yeah 360 rotation um her wrists can hinge down that much up that much and 360 rotation there she has a ball joint here so a diaphragm joint so she can go forward 
just a little bit backwards a lot and then she could do side to side and then 360 rotation around there so that's good she could kick out just a little bit i wish she could kick out just a little bit more especially since she uh, how flexible she was in the movie uh she could kick it forward pretty good backwards like zero um she has a shin cut here she has double jointed knees and it looks like they're pinless, so that's awesome. They did a good job with that, actually. You don't, you can't really tell. But you, you can see it's kind of covering up wherever the pins are, I think, kind of. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. Um, but then she, uh, her ankles hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. I think she's a pretty cool figure. Um, I think the only thing that I'm a little off on is probably the head sculpt is a little off. And then I think the kicking to the side could have been a little bit more better and probably diaphragm joint can bend forward a little bit more. But besides that, I like the looks of her. She looks, she's really cool. I am happy to get her in the collection. Hopefully they'll release like a Colossus figure. I'm still trying to get Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, so... Uh, but yeah, I think she is a really cool figure to add into the collection. So, uh, but besides that, that's all I've got.